to play with college news. I'm Rose and this is AB. We are here this afternoon to bring all the fun and exciting things that the year five sixes have classes have been up to this year. Before we, we begin our news segment, we must first acknowledge the land that we meet on today is the land of the Kana people. These are the traditional owners of the land and an acknowledgement is a way to respect the history of Australia and is a symbolic gesture of reconciliation. We have been fortunate that we have acquired this school and land through the guidance of and grace of Allah. Therefore, we acknowledge the Ghana people as the traditional custodians of this land and pay our respects to their elders, both past, present and future. For they hold the memories, the traditions, the culture and hopes of Aboriginal Australia. We must always remember that under the concrete and asphalt, this land is, was and always will be traditional Aboriginal land. Please stand for the national anthem. Please be seated. We are now going to cross to our reporters in the field for an update on how they acknowledge a very important week in Australia's history last week. Over to you, Eva. Thank you, Rose. As mentioned from the, this week and last week was very, a very important week in Australia's history. From the 27th of May to 3rd of June, it was National Reconciliation Week. This is a time for all Australians to learn about the shared history's cultures and achievements and to explore how each of can contribute to achieving reconciliation in Australia. Here today, I have Mitty and Umbani who are going to share how they explore reconciliation week. Mitty, what was one of the activities you explored last week? Well, Eva, we first read the book uh, of our family, which this book celebrates the achievement of Indigenous Australia throughout history. Wow, that sounds interesting. And oh, Mbani, what else did you learn in class? Our class decided the week by commemorating National Sunday. Sunday day is a day where we acknowledge and recognize the ministry of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who were taken from their families and community. We have done this by printing the artwork you see above. Each member of our class painted a different piece of our country, symbolized that each was. The past and come to say sorry for the pain that happened to the to indigenous. Thanks for sharing that one, buddy. Well, that's all we have from the classics of back. <laughs> Along with 
56Q and 56F, students here in 5C have been investigating Australian system of government. We've been extremely lucky to have visitors from our local council, Mayor Doherty and the state government, Lee Odenwalder, to give us an insight into Australian government and the freedoms and responsibilities we have. Rahin and Askari are here to share some of those freedoms we have been living in Australian democracy. During our time looking at Australia's system of government, we have learned that a democracy is where people are elected to represent the views and ideas of the rest of the community. All Australians are equal in the eyes of the law and all Australians are treated with dignity and respect, no matter their beliefs, traditions and background. This was this means we have a number of freedoms and responsibilities. We have the freedom of electing people and or choosing up to elect and respond our ideas and benef benefits in local, state and federal state of levels of government. We have the freedom to come together to peace peacefully pro protest our debates, ideas to be involved in poly politics. We have the freedom to voice our opinions, views, and choose our religion's benefits. Thanks for sharing that. I also have Elohar who will share the responsibilities we have of living in a democracy like Australia. As an Australian, we have the responsibility to behave within the Australian democratic beliefs. We also have the responsibility to follow and obey the laws. If you are older than 18, you have the responsibility to vote in federal, state or territory elections. You also have the responsibility to serve on jury if required. Thanks for that, guys. The those posters in my five six F looks absolutely brilliant. Great job. Back to you or at the desk, Addy. I've just come across these great posters in five six F. They've been exploring animals and their adaptations. Now, for those who don't know what an adaptation is, an adaptation is how an animal or plant uh, changes in order to survive. We've got a few students here to tell us an adaptation about one of the animals that they've been researching. What have you been researching, Emil? I did the polar bear. One of the adaptations of the polar bear is that it has black skin under its white fur to absorb sunlight in the so it can uh, gain warmth. What about you? And one, uh, one adaptation for the giant panda is that it has really strong uh, intestines so it can digest a lot of bamboo and I mean a lot of bamboo. What about you Lara? I have been researching about the cheetah. The cheetah has a flexible spine to help it extend while running fast. This helps it run up to 120 kilometers per hour. Wow, that is so interesting. Thank you for sharing with us today. Back to you at the news desk. been hard work at the upper primary building. But not just there, Royce. They've been hard at work out in the yard too. 
Here's a bus with more on their PE lessons. That's right, Rose. Six four and five seven have been exposed to growing a new Ooh. sport this past few weeks. They've been learning all about touch football. Now you might not have seen this before, so what better way to explore it than to show you some action? How wonderful. Now before we cut live to assembly, we would like to share some wonderful artworks that can be seen in our classrooms. for today. Thanks for joining us for Playford College News. Before you switch off though, we are going to do one final crossover to Mr. Riemann for some further announcements. Mm -hmm.